Did you know that cancer is the second leading cause of death in Ireland? And approximately one in three of us will eventually get cancer and require radiotherapy. Radiotherapy uses high energy radiation to kill the cancer cells by damaging their DNA. A patient's radiation treatment begins with a CT scan which captures an image of the patient in 3D. The CT scan enables the doctor to view the tumour and outline it. Once the patient's CT has been acquired, their treatment plan is generated in what's known as a treatment planning system. In the treatment planning system, the radiation beams are focused onto the tumour and the dose distribution in the patient is calculated, ready for treatment. The patient then comes to the radiotherapy department for the course of their treatment where a machine known as a LINAC delivers their radiation. Advancements in how the LINAC can deliver radiotherapy has enabled better targeting of the tumour, but unfortunately normal tissue cannot be avoided and gets irradiated to a low dose. It is important to minimise dose to normal tissue to prevent secondary cancers being induced in the patient and also to reduce any side effects. There have been a few publications recently highlighting the inaccuracies of the treatment planning system at calculating dose to normal tissue. One paper in particular suggests that there can be up to a 55% underestimation of the dose to normal tissue and this is where my PhD comes in. My name's Laura and I'm looking at methods of optimising the dose to normal healthy tissue, examining what effect, if any, these low doses of radiation have on normal healthy cells, and determining the accuracy of our treatment planning system and looking at ways of improving it. To do this, I've created a virtual model of the LINAC that can calculate dose more accurately than the treatment planning system, but takes a long time. I treat the virtual model as my gold standard and compare it to the treatment planning system calculated doses. To understand what effect low doses have, I've been irradiating normal healthy cells and seeing what happens. Do the cells survive, die or have some sort of adaptive response? So my research aims to provide oncologists with a better picture of dose to normal tissue and the effect of that dose. This could potentially change how treatment planning is approached in the future with hopefully reduced risk of secondary cancer induction and normal tissue toxicities for patients. 